Hey guys, Crewman here. I'm going to build a CPU mining rig. Now, originally before I had picked up all of these extra PCs to use as drop-in mining rigs, I bought parts for one of them. So let's go over what I got. I got $140 for a 3900X. This RAM I had lying around, I got four gig sticks from a buddy for free. I replaced two mining rigs with uh, from four gigs to eight or from eight gigs to four gigs. I got this RAM. I got this for ten bucks, a 128 SSD. I got this motherboard for I want to say seventy bucks. It is an X570 Tough. It was missing the I/O shield, which is probably why I got it less. Whatever, I don't care. And then I have this G. 650 EVGA power supply that I was using on a tester bench, but I have an Elmore Labs PDU coming, so I don't need it. And this case, this I got for 15 bucks on Black Friday, and I already had this shell of a case from a build I got for free, and I just threw it in the attic because you never know when you could use it. So this whole build cost me, I mean, out of pocket, really. It was, you know, uh, 140, uh, 220, uh, 220, 30. Uh, 245, you know, now I cheated because I don't, I have the power supply. You could value this though at, I don't know, 60 bucks and you could value the RAM at 20 bucks. So you're looking at about 310 to 320 for this whole rig. My goal is to 250 to 350, let's say, total for a single 3900X CP mining rig or a single CP mining rig in general that has at least a 3900X or a 5900X in it. So that way it's like you sell a GPU, you get a CP mining rig which is a very good trade-off, in my opinion. So without further ado, let's start building this rig. First thing I'm going to do is use Belena Etcher to install the uh, Hive OS into the SSD, or well, the M.2 NVMe. I have this special adapter to make it easy to do. And then we're going to prepare the motherboard. Uh, really, it's just that simple. You want to make sure the back plate is on. And then you just want to take a look at the motherboard, make sure there's any damage. And then you want to install the CPU. You want to check the CPU for pin damage or anything like that. I don't see any Ryzen 9 3900X. Let's go ahead and drop it in. You want to make sure that there's a little arrow in the bottom corner. And you want to make sure that is facing the arrow slot. I've been lazy before. And I've actually ruined CPUs doing not measuring that. It should just drop in. So it drops right in. You install it. Now you want to put thermal paste on it. I use Arctic MX4 because I think that's the best. But first we're going to open up the CPU cooler. I did a video on this. It's a pretty solid cooler. It'll get the job done and it was 15 bucks more importantly. So let's get this going. Another thing I probably want to do before everything gets put in. I want to install the RAM. Now I the RAM wasn't really clear what specs it was. So I'll, once I boot it up, if I don't like the RAM, I will just replace it as you know this is an open air frame essentially an open air frame so it'll be easy enough to replace so the ram's in now we're gonna get the cooler set up and we'll get that done now oh and with the cooler make sure you peel off this label i have not done this before and i've been like why is it hot so let's go ahead and do that it came with some thermal paste i wouldn't advise using it unless it's for cheapy builds and you're in a jam i've been known to use it from time to time if it meant not having to go buy any I'll be right back. All right, the brackets are installed. I know how to install this cooler. I've already done it before. The RAM's in. The thermal paste is on. Everything is ready to go. We're going to get this cooler put on right here. And then we're going to drop this in to the case. And we're also going to get the power supply in there as well. Pulling out my random drawer of case screws to put this hard, this motherboard into this case, uh, honestly, this case is kind of a waste of space. The only reason I'm using it is because it's sta I can stand it on its side and save a lot of room. There might come a time when I ditch it. We'll, uh, we'll see. Again, I'm not worried about it for the time being. I kind of just take what I have when I have it, and then I plan for the future when the future comes, as far as crypto mining goes. So installing the power supply, EVGA 650 Gold, you honestly could get away with probably 500, as these things hardly use any power. Um, you know, I would just get a highly rated one so you don't pop your C your PS or CPU. Basically, all you need is a CPU cable and the, um, the 24 pin. The idea is when you get this thing ready to start up, you will just use a crappy card or a GPU 
like uh, one that doesn't need extra power to just get a display, to get the settings in the BIOS and to get it ready in Hive where you can just plug it in and go. So let's get the CPU, the, G, uh, the power supply installed right now. All right, it's wired in and ready to go. Uh, actually, I have to plug the power button in, so let's do that real quick. All right, so I moved the power switch up here as it would be easier for me to reach. You can see the wiring I did. I didn't even bother hiding the cables. I'd rather have easy maintenance access. Think more like uh, Rebel Base on Hoth rather than like a pretty place. <laughs> uh, everything is in, though. We're going to install the M.2, and then we're going to power it up because that should be it. Can't find an M.2 screw. No big deal. Honestly, just leave it out. I'm not too worried about it. So let's just get this puppy booted and see how she does. Got my EVGA 630 in there to access the BIOS. We're gonna BIOS mod the, or BIOS mod, I mean, we're gonna overclock the CPU in the BIOS and we're gonna be good to go because then I pop this thing out and I just run it as is. So without further ado, let's get to it. And we have a post, I think. Yeah, we've got a post. It wasn't posting at first, but I think the seat GPU was just loose because the way I had it installed. All right, so let's uh, press F1 to run setup and let's show you how to overclock this. Now I would go to a, someone better like Rabbit or someone like that as I'm no expert on this, but I usually know enough to fumble my way around through it. So the RAM on this is no bueno. It's only 2400, so that's not gonna work. So we're gonna turn this off and we're gonna swap the RAM out. So this RAM is perfect. It's actually 32 gigs of RAM. So these are actually 16 gig sticks each, which is honestly probably a little more than I want. I'm half tempted to replace the test bench RAM and double it to 16, uh, from 16 to 32. That might actually be the subject of an interesting video of whether or not RAM actually matters in terms of gaming. So that'll be for another day, but I think for now, We'll just leave the 32 in here. Um, all right, so let me show you how to overclock your CPU. You can see we set the voltage to one. I don't know if you can see that. The VDDR CPU voltage is manual, set to one volt. DOCP, which is XMP, is on. And now I don't go crazy with overclocking my CPUs because I, I don't know, maybe one day I will, but I just want to get them up and running. So that's good. So now we're going to restart the PC and we're going to get C5 works. And Hive is working. So I ended up having to up the CPU voltage to 1.2 on this CPU. I'll update with this CPU mining rig. I actually had some problems with it. It's finally hashing and everything's good. But uh, the RAM wasn't really OCable. I swapped the RAM with my test bench RAM because I didn't need it. Uh, I'll put that RAM on the test bench it'll work just fine and the cpu is not as good as some other 39x's i've had i can only get it down to 1.3 volts it would crash at anything else it was basically just trial and error until i got it stable it was normally at 1.5 so just a bad bin one but you know overall the cpu mining rate is worth it it was not expensive basically the whole thing ran me um 15 for the cooler 65 for the motherboard so that's 80 140 for the um, CPU, so we're at 220, 230 for the SSD, and we value the power supply. I think I paid like 40 bucks for it new, so, so we're at about 270, and the case is just an old shell. So under 300 bucks for this mining rig is great. You know, the goal is to essentially sell a 3080 or a 3060 Ti equivalent uh, money-wise and replace it with CPU mining rigs. With that farm that I got, we are really far ahead, so I hope to probably up get a CP one to two rigs up a week until I fill out everything. And if I fill out everything, I will end up with I will end up with eight CPU mining rigs, which is pretty good. You know, I I'd like to get more, but I spent a lot of money lately, so I'm kind of getting close to being tapped. So this will kind of be a thing where like if I find a really good deal, I'll take advantage of it. But if not, I'll just kind of sit and wait. You know till something falls in my way but eight cpus is great it'll give me a good start to spec mine and to you know mine zef or whatever is most profitable and convert it to either cover my power or you know again just spec mine a bag so anyway guys thank you for watching the cpu build video i plan on doing more cpu mining content nothing like rabid because i'm stretched kind of thin but i definitely will be doing it all right again thank you guys for watching 
Please like and subscribe. Like that sub button. Crew man out.